PopCultureZone.com is an online shop focusing on hot new comics, including incentive variants, CGC graded comics, and tons of other inventory, including pop culture toys and other collectibles, all at low and competitive prices. PopCultureZone.com ships all over the U.S. And if you are buying raw comics, they offer flat rate shipping of only $4.99. And there's no taxes included excluding New Jersey. Pop Culture Zone is also on eBay where they hold a 100% positive feedback rating with over 8,000 completed transactions for this year alone. Make sure to check out the link to their website below as well as their eBay link. So be sure to give them a follow there as well. YouTube, what is going on? Chris with Journals Comics at Pop Culture. And I just got home late at night, but earlier today, I went out and picked me up another little awesome small collection here that we're going to go through today, guys. If you are subscribed to the channel, please take the time to do so. Check out all the links in the description below as well. But guys, let's just talk about this collection here. We got about 200 books. And yes, there's Madison making a little cameo appearance. <laughs> so I was in communication with uh, an individual named Jim who hit me up. And emailed me about a collection that he found. He was telling me something about he was going in the attic trying to get something, something down. And he saw these up there and brought them back down. And the wife was like, what are you doing with those? And he was like, well, I, I don't want to put them back in the attic. So maybe I'll try to make a little money with them. And uh, we were in communication for a few days. Um, he had told me a little bit about the collection. He said he had a lot of um, like Marvel team-up stuff and sent me a few pictures and with that i said well i could kind of i, I put together a rough estimate said you, you know i went kind of low not trying to overdo myself and overextend an offer not really knowing um what was in the collection it was a little bit of a drive for me about a 45 50 minute drive so it was a little bit of ways away i said i can offer you this but i if there's anything else in there, you know, any books of value, I'm, I can go through them, set them aside. We can try to work something out and we can add on to that offer. I said, but I can't guarantee that though because I just, I didn't know what was there. So I went and I started going through and, and I was very impressed, you know. So let's just start looking to some books. Um, there was uh, some cool Iron Man stuff. This is a Marvel Superheroes actually, uh, 28 right here. And you could tell that he had these from like when he was a kid or uh, from back in the days in the old polyethylene bags. Uh, we had some Moon Knight, the Volume 1 Moon Knight. So that's really cool. Um, if I am missing, and, and just to give context, guys, whenever I look for collections, it's, you know, I'm taking inventory to sell, of course, for my business. But I always, I also do this to gain comics for my collection and to share with my kids, et cetera, et cetera. So as being a collector of runs still, you know, and I, I know I've talked about selling off a lot of my, my PC, I'm still collecting all of my, you know, major runs that I am not getting rid of. And of course, Moon Knight's one of them. So I'll be filling some holes. Got some awesome, uh, spectacular Spider-Man stuff in here as well. Uh, here we go. Here's spectac Spectacular Spider-Man number three. A lot of Spidey stuff. So that's always fun uh, to get Spidey stuff. Uh, annual 25, 54. I do have a full run of Spectacular. So all the Spectacular Spider-Man stuff will be up for sale. But uh, here's uh, 87. Revealing the black hat that he's Peter Parker 88 You know what else I like to do as well is I like to um if there's a book that is There's 90 if, if there's a book that's In better condition than what I have in my personal collection. I'll swap them out Sometimes I don't always do it like I'll sell a higher grade But I like to swap especially with spider-man stuff. I'm definitely keeping the higher grade one and then I'll sell the you know, the lesser grade one and, uh, you know, still make a little money back. These are uh, just in old, old, uh, 
you know, what do you call these? Like the, the binder, the binder sheets. So a lot of uh, spectacular there. We had some G.I. Joe of the Marvel run, which is cool. I, I have a solid chunk of G.I. Joe stuff, but not a lot. So I'll probably be keeping most of this for the PC. That's a sick cover because I like collecting G.I. Joe. The Marvel G.I. Joe. You know, I try collecting the IDW stuff in... I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. I never really got, got into reading it. I just like collecting the Marvel run because it was nostalgic, of course. And, you know, I'm more of a Marvel guy, of course. So, any anything that I don't have out of these, I will definitely be keeping. 29. We had a whole little uh, run here. 30, 31, 33. And here we go. Here, here's some Iron Man. Let's pull out some Iron Man. There's all the Iron Good stack of uh, some Bronze Age Iron Man stuff. Wow, this is all Iron Man here. So, again, I mean, I do have a, a good amount of Iron Man. But filling holes, anything that I can fill holes with. 104, 106, 107, 108. All in order, too. So I was looking through it, you know, and at first, I know Marvel Team Up has some good, some good books and it's Spidey stuff, but you know, they don't command as much as the, um, outside of the keys, of course, uh, they don't command as much as some of his actual solo titles, like Spectacular or more importantly, Amazing. Um, so that's why at first I'm like, well, you know, let's go and see what we have. And when I started looking through this and I saw some... Some of the more um, earlier bronze Iron Man stuff, you know, as you get later in the to, um, later in the Bronze Age with Iron Man, they're not as he's more of a B list character next to some of the other Bronze Age runs. But some of the earlier stuff is still solid, and of course, when I was seeing this, the spectacular stuff, I was like, okay, there's, there's definitely more here. Um, as you guys see here too, uh, this one it's got a little heat under it. I just sold one of these actually. Uh, first appearance of Frogman. So that was cool. I set that aside uh, for him. You guys can see some more up there. We'll we'll look at more of that in a minute here. But let's just go to see if we can find any more in here. So more, you know, like 80s Iron Man stuff. These are kind of like the ethylene bags are melting together. <clears throat> But like everything in 165, 167, 68, so everything lined up. Oh, there's some Marvel team up. 122 with Man Thing. That's an awesome cover. All right, we got the Death of Superman. This is the second print. And we had this 12 cent Iron Man number seven. So I set that aside. And said, this is definitely, you know, you got some 12 cent early Iron Man, Silver Age Iron Man. Definitely. We have number one, Vigilante number one. This book has gotten a little, a little uh, heat just because of obviously the TV show. It's of course cooled down since, but set that aside to give them a fair value. And then this was probably the biggest, uh, you know, book right here. Just when looking at grade and everything, uh, the Moon Knight number one. It's a nice, I, I call it a, a, a decent as is, probably 6.0 or so, but it's uh, it's got suppressible defects, so I'll definitely be giving it a press. I do have one, but I think mine is definitely in, in, in better condition. I, I, I think mine's probably about a very fine, very fine plus. So, but awesome that that was in here. And then the silent G.I. Joe 21. Uh, so this was in here. And pull this aside. This has definitely got more more wear. This is probably, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's got a good amount of spine ticks, spine stress. Again, it could benefit from a press. But it wasn't in a super high grade. But I don't have this. So I'll probably be keeping this. I don't think I'll be selling this. Because this is a cool one for me to have. A cool key for me to have in the collection. You can see there's a bit of a spine roll there as well and then uh spider-man 2099 and this wasn't in perfect shape either you know i i told him like probably like 10 bucks 
uh, you guys could see there's some wear coming off of the, um, some rub coming off of the, the, the prism, the foil, you know, uh, there's some spine ticks in there as well. So, uh, not a super high grade of this either, but cool to have that in there, of course. So those are some of the, the bigger books that I pulled going through it. So once I saw all that and how cool is this? Well, look at this. Uh, once I saw all that, you know, I, I I pulled those aside and I said, okay, I'll give you this much for, for these and we'll say we'll give a bulk value for the rest. And uh, he thought it was fair and, and we made uh, uh, we made the transaction. This is really cool. I, and this is real. I told him to, I was like, I'm going to keep this because I still have my binder where, you know, you get the stickers from the baseball card packs or the, uh, the radio station stickers that you put on your binders. Uh, KBHK, man, I just, that was the, the A station back in the day. So this is really cool to have. And, uh, you know, when, when people unload their own like personal nostalgic, you know, collectibles, this is something that I value as a collector, somebody who understands the nostalgia in these items. And I am going to hold on to this and it's going to be, it's going to mean something to me because this has history. So, but he had some more uh, comics in here, just some random, got some DC presents, some old Charlton space, 1999, uh, Superman family, some more Charlton, $6 million man, secrets of haunted house. Marvel's greatest comics. We've got a cap. Cap 214. Shang Chi, 58, Master of Kung Fu. West Coast Avengers number one. Think well, yeah, the whole minis. One, two, three, four. And then uh Machine Man. One, two, three, and four. So that was cool. Let's see what else we got in here. Some more of the Iron Mans. Uh, a few more Vigilantes. I have like a whole run of Vigilante that, that I think I still have. But here we go to the Marvel Team Up goodies. There's annual number five. I don't think I have these annuals, so I'll be keeping these. Annual number six. Number seven. Some of these early, these are some of the earlier Marvel team ups are solid. Here's number 12. And Human Torch and Hulk, number 18. I'll go ahead and uh, pull some of these out and look at these like this. And I don't have too many of the earlier ones. And I think I actually have this one, but it's really beat up. So I'll probably be keeping that one. 27, 29. These are sweet. 33, 34, 38, I'll be, I have a lot of bagging and boarding and organizing and pressing to do, that's always a fun, exciting thing too when picking up collections, I really love, you know, cleaning up the books, getting them pressed up, if I can give them a press, and rebagging and boarding and grading, whether I'm selling some of them or, or, or you know, organizing them for my own collection. It's always awesome to do. 57, 59, 60. He like doubled these up in these um, little binder slots. And of course, we were looking for, I was like, oh, wait, because I was going through them. And I saw like 140, 139, 142. And I'm like, do we have 141 in here? But we looked and we didn't see it, unfortunately. But still some, an awesome stack. 81, 82, 83. Hard to see in these nasty old... <laughs> You know, they're definitely, they've been through it, man. Ghost Rider, Black Widow. I am filling some holes in my run, and I'm so excited. Here's issue number 100. Was that 101? 102. Hulk and Kazar. Kazar. So now we're getting into the 100s, and this is where I was like, man... 
do we have a, are we going to come up on a 141? But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And again, guys, you know, that's why I try to be completely honest and transparent whenever I'm buying collections because I want to obviously make a fair deal. I want my reputation to be um, as such. And I went into this looking at every single book, trying to pull out whatever I saw that I felt was was of you know value. And uh, I went on multiple, you know, we went on eBay and looked at cover price right there out in the, the 100 degree heat. <laughs> we were standing outside and uh, looking this up, looking through every book, Spider-Man and the Watcher. That's a sick cover. How about that? How about that? How freaking early 80s is that? Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch. 131, Jack of Hearts, <laughs> all the talk around Jack of Hearts right now, it's crazy, uh, see there's, what is this, 140, 140 and 139, but 142, dang it. And that's it. Yep, 142, 143. So, man, I don't know if he missed it, if he was picking these up off the shelf as a kid and just happened to not pick up the 141. But, yep, there's 143, 144. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, well. Still some awesome goodies in here. I was like, did I miss it? You know, when we were looking through it, the first time, and I went back again. I'm like, nah, it just wasn't there. Some DC, we got more uh, Kitty Pride and Wolverine, the limited series here. Oh, this is one of my uh, first Captain America issues I've ever owned. I ever owned as a, as a kid. Oh, some Coyote. Did I even see these? I think I did. All right, we got Adventures of Thing. I've never seen that book before. Oh, look. We got some fresh. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see. Oh, look at this. Dale Earnhardt when he passed, man. That's dope. Sports Illustrated. That's cool. I didn't even look at those. A few little Sports Illustrated that are in here. Some NASCAR. Um, and then we had a few on the side here. We had some Moon Knight, number three. Uh, the Mark Spector, number two. Man of Steel, Archangel, Moon Knight number seven, some more 90s, Superman, Moon Knight number six, Man of Steel, Superman, all that goodies right there, and of course, the return <laughs> in the white bag, that is practically uh, worthless. <laughs> few more guys, what else we got here? More Marvel team-ups here. Some Iron Man annuals. 64, 101. Some more Iron Man. 102, 103. Annual number seven. And, and, and there it is, folks. Man, I mean, look at that. Uh, I got to go wash my hands. Uh, it's been sitting in the attic in the same old ethylene bags and sleeves. And it's good stuff, man. You can smell the nostalgia on these. But big shout out to Jim for reaching out to me and making this happen. I'm really excited and really grateful for the opportunity. Um, of course, like I said, now it's time to just hang out, put some music on and start getting, <laughs> throwing away all the old bags, getting these books cleaned up. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll, like I said, if you guys see anything that you might be interested in, I'll be getting a, a lot of them cleaned up, but I can't wait to um, fill some holes. I'm really excited about the um, Iron Man and the Marvel team-ups and going through those to see which ones that I do not have in my runs. And the G.I. Joe. And the G.I. Joe. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be well. And until next time.